Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to start a CSGO server. Now I do want to mention that this server is hosted on your own computer, which means it uses your own computer's resources. So if you don't have a really good computer, you probably aren't going to be able to run this server effectively. Also, it uses your own public IP address, which can allow people to DDoS you, slow down your internet, and possibly even find out where you live. So if you don't want any of those risks, Simply go to the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz says game service to get an incredible, awesome server for Counter-Strike Go that'll be up all the time whenever you want it and won't be using your own computer's resources or your own internet connection. Keeping your internet connection safe and your computer free to run Counter-Strike and anything else you want it to run. Anyway, if you do just want a server hosted on your own computer, let's go ahead and start one. To do that, we simply need to go to our browser or go to the description down below and click the second link down below. It'll take us here where we need to download the Steam CMD. To do that, simply scroll down until you see this and then click on it and it'll download the zip file. Next, we can minimize our browser and create a new folder on our desktop just titled Steam CMD, just like that. And then open up the Steam CMD zip file we created and uh, drag the Steam CMD application that's in it into our folder on our desktop. We can then open that folder and then double click on the application. It'll then run it, go through, do some things, install a bunch of stuff, and I'll see you when it's done. Once it's done, we need to type login anonymously, or login anonymous, rather, over here. And then once we've done that, it'll connect anonymously to Steam, get some licensing info, all of that. Next, we need to go to the third link down below, which is this right here. This basically gives you everything you need to know to set up a server. However, I'll post some of these down below. So what we need to do is come here and we need to type this over here in Steam CMD. So we need to type force underscore install underscore dir, which stands for directory. And then you can type whatever you want as far as where you want to install it. I want to install it on my C drive. And then I want to backslash, which is under the backspace or delete key. And then you can type whatever you want for where it's going to go. For me, for example, I'll do CSGO server, and then you can do another backslash after that. Boom, and then hit enter. It'll set that as the directory. The next, again, all we're doing here is just scrolling down, basically. We need to come here and install the actual version number. To do that, it's going to be right here, which is app update 740 validate. It might be different, that's why this is linked down below. So go down there and see what this says. Right now it's app update 740. Tomorrow it might be app update 741. Just depends, but app underscore update 740 and then validate. Then hit enter and it will go through and start the process of downloading a server. It's quite a big file, so it's probably going to take some time. So I will do a jump cut and meet you guys when it's done. So after about 72 years, your download will finally be done. And we're still on this page here that we were on with the app update validates the, I think, third, maybe fourth link down below. I've lost track. It's been a bit, about half an hour at least since I uh, blast was recording for this video. Anyway, I want to mention this right here. Registering a game server login token. So this is linked down below and what it is is this little thing right here. This is guidelines, right? What these are are Steam Game Server Account Management Guidelines. And what you need to do is make a Steam Server game account, basically, for your server if you want it to be public, if you want people to play on it outside of your own house. If they're on your own internet, you can host a LAN, no problems. But you can't host anything publicly without one of these. And then you can go to this link right here to see exactly what guidelines need to be covered under server operations and stuff for a CSGO server. So from this point on, I'll be assuming that you're going to be wanting to host a LAN and not host publicly. If you do decide to host a public server publicly, it's pretty complicated, and I would honestly recommend just going and buying one at game servers because it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier than creating one yourself, setting up this registering game server login token, all of that stuff. So we're just going to be pushing forward from here, assuming you're wanting LAN. Now, for this, we're going to do some arms race, so we need to copy this right here, right? So copy that, and then minimize your browser. That is linked down below, that code that I just copied is. We now need to go to where you installed the server, which for me is going to be on my local disk. And there it is, CSGO server. From here, we want to see this, this CRCDS, right? Right-click on it, go to Create Shortcut, 
It's going to create a shortcut there. Then we want to right click on this shortcut, go to properties, and next to target here, we want to put space, and then we want to paste the code below. You'll just be able to do that. For me, I need to delete that very, very first part there. So there's that, and then we can go ahead and click apply, click OK, and now we can double click on this shortcut to run the server. We are going to allow access in our firewall. It'll go through and establish a connection, all of that stuff. It's going to be done a lot of stuff, right, basically. Connection will be restricted to LAN only. That's what I was talking about there, by the way. You'll need to go in and make sure you set up a server account in order to host this server publicly. So go do that. All of that information is linked down below. It's an entirely separate process from what this is. It'll be the same process setting up the server, but as far as actually getting it to log in, it's going to be a lot different. Now, as you can see, connection established, good to go. What this means is now anyone on your in your house can play on this server awesome and good to go quickly and easily you just need to go in and connect via CSGO. So there you have it. That's how you can start your very own CSGO server. You can get one that can be easily hosted publicly. All of that stuff down below. Go check that out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out guys. Peace.